or you want this, you want this to go this way. So, get it up on the, the collar. And then, is that too tight this time? You no. should be hanging around that yet. You see what I'm saying? Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> Feel like my dollar dad wants. I'm going to grab him around the neck. What about right there? A little bit more. That's good. You, right you sure don't want me loose? No, nah, it's good. I'm, I'm not choking. I mean, that first one you did, boy, you yeah. could have robbed me right there. Well, and, <laughs> and then, come around. No, he, he's a suit man. You know, when we were coming up, this man here had suits. School. All that his mom kept him clean. <laughs> yes, she did. Check yourself out. See if you don't need to tighten it up. That's what I like to me. Well, hold up a second. Yeah. Where else did you do? Yeah, I'm good. Good? Mm -hmm. So, I just want to talk about being my best friend all these years and uh, growing up and just being my best man today. I want to give you the cufflinks Word. to go with. Yeah. To go man, with. Yeah. The... And then. My favorite. Got you a Ken Cole watch. Oh man, appreciate the blue face. <laughs> oh man. I hope you can wear it. I should have hit the lottery so I could take this man, but boy, man, appreciate yeah, it, yeah, brother. Let's hurt stuff. Sapphire. Yeah, yours is the Ruby. Wow, look at this. Yeah, they nice, man. Though my wife probably wondered why I ain't took no pictures yet. I'm gonna wait till we get fully dressed. So I got Yeah, he actually filmed us now.
wide and to the perfect harmony. This is why I love you. Ooh, this is why I love you. Because you love me. You love me. This is why I love you. Ooh, this is why I love you. Because you love me. Well, that was wonderful. Great job. And again, we're here today, beloved, to join this man and this woman in holy matrimony. And I must say, Sister Tanisha, you're a beautiful bride on today. And we thank God for you and your handsome groom, Brother Kelvin. I won't leave you out. <laughs> Hallelujah. Paul, the Apostle Paul, chose marriage to symbolize the union between Christ and his church. 
And the scripture commends us that marriage is honorable. The bed is undefiled. Goes a little further, he said, the adulterer, he's going to judge. Thank God for the opportunity to be joined together as husband and wife. The union of husband and wife is heart, is body, and mind, and is intended for God to have a covenant with those who are in covenant. I call it a triangular relationship, keeping God as the center of your union. And it also helps to have someone that can give comfort to you when you need comfort, someone to talk to when you need to talk to, to deal with the pains and the pressures of this life. It's wonderful when you find love and you can share that love with someone special. It is a God idea. Marriage is a God idea. And I'm glad, I'm godly glad that you have taken that step to say we want to publicly show that we love God, we honor God, and we honor each other through nuptial agreement and covenant. And that is what we're here to do on today. So to this groom, Brother Kelvin, Davis, will you have this woman to be your wife, to live together in holy covenant of marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor her, and keep her in sickness and in health and forsaking all others? Be faithful to her so long as you both shall live. If so, answer, I will. Did you all hear that? I will. All right. <laughs> Tanisha Austin, will you have this man to be your husband? live together in holy covenant of marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health and forsaking all others? Will you be faithful to him so long as you both shall live? If so, answer I will. To those of you who are witnesses today, will all of you witnesses, witnessing these promises do in all of your power to uphold these two in their marriage? If so, may the congregation say, we will. We will. All right. So based upon the participation of those who are witnesses here, it sounds like you two have quite a bit of support and there will be some that helps you out. I said marriage is a beautiful thing, and it really is. Marriage is ordained of God. I realize that we live in a day now where people have redefined marriage, but I believe that God ordained marriage to be between a man and a woman. I further believe that the Bible teaches that therefore shall a man leave his father and mother and cleave unto his wife. And the two of you now are at a place where you can become one in the Lord and one in covenant with each other. And the people of God say amen. amen. The Lord Jesus Christ taught us that at the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. And of course, the two are no longer two, but when you come together, you become one. One family. Your families become one. This is why I always say marriage should never be entered into ill-advisedly. But marriage should be something that is taken serious. Because it's a lifetime commitment. This is a lifetime commitment. I'm going to say this publicly because I shared it even in the back room. I said, you know, just because... 
the audience is here today and people are here, if there are reservations somewhere in your heart, you don't have to move forward unless you know of a certainty that this is the will of God. But I believe, having counseled them, that this is the will of God and the Lord will bless their union. Praise God for that. Amen. Kelvin, it's now time for you to take your marriage vow, and I encourage you to take these words seriously because oftentimes we come to this place and we say words, but let these words really resonate in your heart. I want you to repeat after me. I, Kelvin Davis, I, Kelvin Davis. take you, Tanisha Austin, To be my, let me stop here and have you face each other. I think that would be better. You looking at me, but I think it would be better if these words come when you're looking at her. Glory be to God. Let's start over because you need to be looking at her. Let's say this again. I, Kelvin Davis, take you, Tanisha Austin, to be my wife. Have and hold this day forward, for better or for worse, richer or for poor, in sickness and health, to love and to cherish till we are parted by death. As God is my witness, as God is my witness. I give, I give you my promise. I give you my promise. Amen. Tanisha, I want you to look your room in his eyes. And I want you to repeat these words. I, Tanisha Austin. I, Tanisha Austin. Take you, Kelvin Davis. Take you, Kelvin Davis. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poor. For richer or for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. As God is my witness. As God is my witness. I give you my promise. I give you my promise. Amen. Let's pray. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this man and for this woman. Thank you for this marital covenant. We thank you, Lord, because you said in your word that marriage is a good thing. You also said that he that findeth a wife findeth a good thing and obtain the favor from the Lord. Today I pronounce favor over this couple. Pray blessings over them. I pray, God, that their steps are ordered and through their union, great things shall come to pass. Thank you, O oh God, for protecting them from illnesses and sickness. And God, may you strengthen them and cover them with the blood of Jesus. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 The word, word of God, God describes the kind of love we are to have for one another. Let me just reiterate, love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not jealous. Love does not brag and is not arrogant. It does not act unbecoming. Let me repeat that again. It does not act unbecoming. It does not seek its own. It is not provoked. It is not taken into account a wrong that is suffered. It does not rejoice in unrighteousness, but it rejoices with the truth. Bears all things. Believes all things. Hopes all things. And it endures all things. What well, the scripture has said, love 
never fails. Love never fails. I want to also share something that is very important that a lot of times, brother and sister, that a lot of times people neglect. The Bible teaches us that husbands are to love their wives. That says plural, but you only have one wife. Husbands are to love their wives. Wives are to submit to their husband. But if you continue reading the prior verses, it does say that there's a submission one to another. I can share in 24 years of marriage, we're not always right. So we have to learn how to submit one to another. Do we have the tokens that are going to be used to pay as a symbol? Glory be to God. I can, I can have, have the tokens. I'm going to bless the tokens that are being used today. Beautiful, beautiful. Nice friend. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Let me just share this about the ring. Ring has a lot of symbolism to it. As you see, it's a never ending circle. And this appears, and I believe it is, to be gold. Go through fire, get tried, and come forth as pure gold. Amen. But the ring is symbolic of your never ending love for each other. You've pledged today for these witnesses. That you will honor each other and love each other. And as a token of expression, you have these rings. Let me just bless the Father and thank you for the symbols that these rings carry. More than just the ring, God, we thank you for the covenant. We bless these rings as they are symbolic that each of these two individuals are taken and belong to one another. God, we just pray that you would bless again the union and keep them knitted together. May they acknowledge you in all of their ways. In Jesus' name. Amen. Brother Kelvin, I want you to love your bride and her beautiful eyes. And I want you to say, say these words. I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow. As a symbol of my love. And with all that I am, all that I have, all that I have, I honor you. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Place that ring on her. Maybe over here. It's okay. 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 Give you this ring as, as, a a as a symbol of my vow. As a symbol of my vow. With all that I am. And with all that I am. All that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And we're almost there. We're almost there. <laughs> but Jesus did something. This doesn't happen at all, but I think it's appropriate today. Jesus did something with the 12 disciples before he was to be betrayed. Scripture says that he had supper with them. We know it as the Last Supper. 
But, but communion, communion is also symbolism of covenant. Communion is symbolism of covenant. And you know, it's very important that you know that two of you now becoming one means that your God is her God. Your family is her family. Your children are his children. And your future and your future are each other's concerns. So we're going to participate. I'm just going to, you stay here. I'm going to transition. We're going to bless these elements. And have you share in Holy Communion, symbolizing and solidifying this union. Glory be to God. And I'm going to have you share cups because the two of you are now coming one in the spirit hallelujah glory be to God Father we thank you for these elements the Eucharist these, these two participate in communion we pray God your blessings as you join them together and unite them as one he said as often as you do this do this in remembrance of me not only are you being remembering him today or remembering him, but I want you to remember each other as you do this. Will you take the bread? Just grab one. And now may you eat Lord's body together. Eat at the same time. And then you shall take of this cup. We will let you drink first. And may you drink the Lord's blood together. Hallelujah. Glory. Well, somebody can clap their hands. It's okay. <laughs> Glory to God. I tell you what, it's a beautiful thing what you're doing today and it's good to have everyone that is here. Well, are you ready? <laughs> now that Kelvin Davis and Tanisha Austin have given themselves to each other by solemn vows before us and before God as witness and have shown their affection and trust by the giving and receiving of ring or rings, and by joining hands and coming together. I now pronounce that you are husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and by the power that is vested in me as a licensed minister. And now... Therefore, what God has joined together, let no man separate. Amen. Well, the part you've been waiting on. <laughs> Brother Kelvin, you may salute your bride. Let's stay there for a moment. Well, it looks like they love each other. What you think? I'd like to present to you, I'd like to present to you now, it's official, Mr. and Mrs. Kelvin Davis. Can we celebrate them? Come on, can we celebrate them? Amen, amen. God bless you. Let's give some cheer. Let's give some cheer. Hey.
Amen. Just before we dismiss, just before we dismiss, thank you for coming out today. The groom and the bride wishes to express their appreciation to family and friends for your support and your prayers. As we close this ceremony out, I would be remiss if I did not close with a benediction and a blessing him, but over you as well. Let us pray. Father, I, give, I thank you for your mercy, for your love, and for your kindness. We thank you for those who have come to witness this momentous occasion. And Lord, now as we take our leave from this place, we pray your covering, your protection. We pray even those who will be leaving and traversing the roads and going to their respective destinations, that you cover them with the blood of Jesus. Protect them, allow incidents or accidents, and we give you praise and glory. The grace of God, the sweet communion of his Holy Spirit be with us all until we are able to come together again. Amen? Amen. 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 God bless you. <laughs> What would I do without your smart mouth Drawing me in and you kicking me out You got my head spinning No kidding, I can't pin you down What's going on in that beautiful mind I'm on your magical mystery ride And I'm so dizzy Don't know what hit me but I'll be alright My head's underwater But I'm breathing fine You're crazy and I'm out of my mind Cause all of me loves all of you Love your curves and all your edges all your perfect imperfections Give your all to me I give my all to you You're my end and my beginning Even when I lose I'm winning Cause I give you all of me And you give me all I'm around through every mood You're my downfall, you're my muse My worst distraction, my rhythm and blues I can't stop singing, it's ringing in my head for you my head's underwater, but I'm breathing fine You're crazy and I'm out of my mind Cause all of me loves all of you Love your curves and all your edges All your perfect imperfections Give your Even when I lose, I'm winning Cause I give you all of me And you give me all of you All your perfect imperfections Give your all to me I'll give my all to you
you're my end and my beginning Even when I lose, I'm winning Cause I give you all of me And you give me all of you I give you all of me And you give me all of you Oh